a unplanned random spur of the moment recording and for a while now i would say at least a year i have just had a desire to vlog my journey a good friend of mine i was talking to he had said something that stuck with me and it was I want to become the version of myself inside my mind. And that's what I desire too. I desire to become the version of myself in my mind when I think of me vibrating at my highest level, like the peak. I'm fulfilling my life's purpose. I'm walking in my purpose. I'm the happiest I could be here in my human experience. I want to not only embody that, but live it. And so evolving into her was born. Her is she, the person that I just described. So here I am in a phase in my life right now where I am going into regeneration. You know how animals hibernate in the winter? Okay, I've created this concept of regeneration. Regeneration means to give new life to or to restore to a healthy condition. And both of those things are things I'm trying to do with myself. You know, I'm trying to um, birth a new lifestyle for me and also restore my health. So I feel like I'm about to do maybe one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life, if not the hardest. And I've done some hard shit. <laughs> this is the most simple thing or things I've ever had to do, which is really all just boils down to disciplining myself to achieve my goals which is to create, obtain the lifestyle I desire to live, her. I've been through a lot last year, 2020, um, like we all have, right? Everybody says they went through, you know, things in 2020, but 2020 was a, a rough year for me. I've completed my Saturn's return and I've done a lot of inner work, healing work, just, you know, tapping back in with the basics. And I am getting ready to move into an eight personal year. For those of you who don't know, it's a big manifestation year. So with that awareness, and there's more that goes into it besides, you know, just being a year of manifestation. But with that awareness of that energy that will be surrounding me. <laughs> I know that I have the power to really change my life and not just change my life in a year. Yes, change my life in a year, but really like lay the foundation down, you know? Because evolving into her, the, you know, my desires, the lifestyle I'm trying to live ain't gonna happen overnight, okay? But I'm trying to get my shit together, y'all. And I'm still trying to figure my way. All I know is that I want to document this and I want to be raw and honest with you guys to one, be able to reflect upon this once I make it and two, to be able to inspire other people to get their shit together too and create the lifestyle that they desire and embody and, and ultimately manifest from embodiment the version of themselves in their mind at their highest self. So I'm sitting here. Today is literally the first day of winter. It's supposed to be the beginning of my regeneration season. And these next three months are personal. And like I said, it's going to be hard as fuck to discipline myself to do some of the simplest things but if I manage to do these things and I will I am going to benefit from it in a 
in an explosive way, in a major way, in a beautiful and divine way. And y'all, it's just time. It's just time. And I'm tired of waking up and not living the life I deserve and desire and am entitled to. So I'm sitting here facing that reality. Like there's no more procrastinating. There's no more pushing. Like this shit starts now. And if I fail at disciplining myself to do the things that I know I need to do in order to get to where I want to go, I don't even want to think about that. I don't even want to think about that, y'all. I don't think about that. So, that's where I'm at with it. I've also been telling myself that I'm not going to say what I'm going to do. I'm going to just do it. So, I'm not going to tell y'all the things that I need to discipline myself doing. I'm just going to do it. And whenever I am called to pick up the camera, I'm just going to pick up the camera and record it. And that's it. That's that. That's that. Evolving into her. Peace. My alarm went off at 6 o'clock this morning. And I got my butt out of that bed. And I worked out. And when I tell y'all, I did not want to work out. I did not want to work out. I did not want to work out. I did not want to work I did not want to do it. Day one is always the hardest. At least that's what I always tell myself. Especially when it's been a long time since I worked out. Yeah, day one is going to be hell. But it gets better. And it was not as bad as my day ones have been in the past i worked out for 30 minutes i like to get an hour in um because sometimes i feel like 30 minutes is i'm just getting started i found a girl who had a warm-up video that felt good it felt so good to just ease up into the exercise and then me and her we did some cardio and then we did some ab work Cardio was cool. The ab work, I quit. And then I had to make myself get up, rewind, and do them exercises that I did not want to do. The whole time, I'm talking myself through it. And I told myself, what did I say? Oh, because it was like some, it was some exercises that I didn't have enough space to do in my room. So I was like, um, do a modified version. I said, you're going to do something, but you ain't going to do nothing. That's what I said. And so I got to doing my modified version of that exercise. But yeah, and then after that, I did some yoga. And I stretched my body out. And that felt so good. I feel so relaxed right now, y'all, too. Because I'm not only doing the, the workout, but afterwards, I did some meditating and I just feel so calm and I just feel so good and I'm so glad that I made myself do this shit because I'm telling y'all I didn't want to do this shit I wanted to cut that alarm off and keep laying in my bed but I got my butt up and I did it and I feel amazing I actually feel like today I'm going to be able to be productive I've been struggling with that like the past week or so being productive, you know, tackling my to-do list. So, I'm about to go take a shower, get myself together. I'm going to need about an hour. <laughs> Day one, we in this thing. Game, game. Mid generation game. I'm in the grocery store getting some stuff to make salad. I need to eat some fresh raw live food so I can aid my body's digestion. And I'm in Whole Foods right now and it's packed. But it is the eve of that holiday that we're celebrating. So, you know, just trying to get in and get out. Yeah! So, I'm about to go to Whole Foods. 
say hey to the people. Hi. That's Brendan. And this is Mitchell. He is very aggressive today. I don't understand why he wants to fight me. Ugh. Okay, so so far I got some juice, lettuce, salmon for my salad, some kombuchas because those are real good. Amen digestion. I got some fruit for my yogurt for breakfast. And Brendan got his stuff. Vegetable lasagna, pizza rolls, and spring rolls. Oh, I got avocado too for my salad. And Mitchell, don't you take that sock off. Okay, y'all, so um, I couldn't even finish recording in the store because Mitchell was in there going crazy, y'all. Like, and he's never done that before in the grocery store. Like, he was growling at folks and punching me and hitting me and stuff like that. I just, I just had to do my shopping and, you know what I'm saying, you know, out of there. I think he needs a nap or something. I don't know. I got me some juice that I like that's got ginger in it. I got the kombucha. Um, so, yeah. And I got my butt up today and I worked out for a whole hour, y'all. I worked out, did my yoga stretch at the end, all of that for a whole hour. So I'm like proud of me today. And I haven't ate anything except for some potatoes and onions probably nothing bad, but I didn't eat it like first thing in the morning. It was like 11 o'clock when I finally ate something. So day three, regeneration season. I'm out. I'll be back to show y'all what my food look like whenever I make me something. I feel much, much better. Soup's done, kombucha's gone. The YouTube vlog I was watching is off. I'm about to clear away my desk and get to work. This rising, I'm tapping into some divination to kind of help myself get back into alignment with my purpose and what I'm supposed to be focusing on and pouring my energy into in hopes that that will help me to, I, I didn't call you, in hopes that that will help me to stop self-sabotaging myself, to remind myself of energetically the things that I'm able to accomplish if I just apply the awareness that I have so I know that I'm getting ready to go into this eight personal year and that is what I'm researching right now earlier I was tapping into the astrology wormhole and I'm um, just you know learning about the different types of astrologies not just western astrology native american astrology and even african astrology so yeah I, I wanted to just share also some profound messages that i'm receiving from astrology that are definitely in alignment with my season of regeneration you get what you want in the eight year, you really do. However, if what you want is out of touch with reality, it could end up being a liability. 
This year, you must be specific and realistic. This year will prosper according to the strength of your determination, the accuracy of the information you take in, and the depth of your awareness. Last year was deeply emotional and confusing for you, but it enabled you to answer many questions about who you really are and why your life is as it is. It had to be that way so you could know what your needs actually are. Now enough is enough. It's time to get down to business. You instinctively know that you must become stronger than you ever have been. Eight is a number of power in the material world, but it is also the number of accurate information. Power cannot sustain itself without the correct understanding of the accurate information. It is up to you to decide precisely what you want to accomplish and to eliminate any habits or attitudes that have held you back in the past. This year's accomplishments are only the beginning of your long-term advancement. The events and circumstances of this eight year will lead you from one evolutionary experience to the next. Each will bring you closer to your right place in the world. Your right place is not necessarily a matter of geo geographical location. Being where you want to be can also refer to matters of love, relationship, health, status, finances, or any area where improvement is desired. Whatever your desire may be, it is important to treat it as a reachable ambition. At first, others may oppose you. Those who think you may be aiming too high are those who feel insecure with your ambitions. Or you yourself may have doubts as to how you can make your desires happen when you do not appear to have the means or the knowledge to do so. Or you may be able to feel the strong potential of able or unable to pinpoint what it is you really want to accomplish. Once you believe that you can create what you want if you are willing to learn how to make it happen, you will realize that you are exactly where you need to be to find the necessary inspiration and resources. The eight year is not particularly easy going. Consistent hard work and determination are necessary. Difficult decisions will have to be made along with adjustments that you may not be prepared for. Physical, mental, and emotional stress can result. You must take adequate time to rest and replenish your energy, energies or you could exhaust yourself. This is a year of action, efficiency, intelligence, and faith. It is a time to reap the rewards of whatever you have invested into life. Those rewards depend largely on how much love for what you are doing is involved. Ultimately, you will learn that love has many different forms and is the greatest power of all. You may have to reconsider the very concept of money, power, and success as the reality of these things change before your eyes. True success is not measured by what you take out of life, but rather what you contribute to it. If the desire for money or power are all that is driving you, then you are likely to achieve goals, but their long-term potential will be far less satisfying. Seize the opportunity and bet big on yourself. You are the only one you can count on for prosperity and security. Be aware of what is taking place in the world. You are ready to turn your life around and make it truly satisfying. This time, you are taking yourself more seriously. This time, you are going to get it right. Aim higher than ever before. Go after what you really want and believe you'll get it. Thank you.